This has been a long wait for everyone. With no new local or overseas cases, COVID-free streak. Bondi is officially back with thousands of people packing beaches. It was only a matter of time. Begin with breaking news. COVID-19 uh, no. has made a Christmas no. resurgence. Oh. All right, so here's where we are. And this is where we need to get to. It's a 36 hour drive. Better yet, we're racing against border restrictions. Turns out we weren't the only people with this idea. After a very exciting 15 hour drive in back to back traffic, we met up in the Gold Coast and packed and. That's the van by the way. And headed off, our destination, Cairns. Our first stop, Bundaberg, a five hour drive north and after picking up a bottle of their finest, we found the nearest dive shop and headed to check out a section of the Great Barrier Reef you can see just a short walk offshore. After our salt fix, we continued on to Airlie Beach. And, well, it was kind of wet, so we left and found a nice spot a little north in Bowen. Which brings us to New Year's Eve. A cocktail for each wrong 2020 gave us is fair, right? With 2020 vision and a clear head, we woke up to start the new year off with a bang. Welcome to the world's second best wreck dive, the SS Yongala out of air. After an epic dive, we were off, but we hadn't the faintest idea of what we were heading into. Well, far north Queensland is bracing for more wild weather with tropical cyclone Imogen set to hammer the region. To 100 kilometres an hour, dumping 262 millimetres of rain. To develop between about Cairns and Ingham overnight tonight. Tropical cyclone Imogen has dumped huge amounts of rain across far north Queensland, putting residents on flood watch. Started to hit this morning. Ferocious winds smashed. 2021 had served us a lemon right off the bat. We'd unknowingly set off to drive right through a cyclone. But after a hectic drive and a year and a half in the making, we arrived and got started on our project.